Howdy y'all, back today with an AOK -okay unboxing. Uh, today it is Sunday morning, October, whatever, 24th, 27th I think. This came in the mail yesterday. Uh, it's from my dear friend, our dear friend, Anthony, that is Reaper Tate. I can never remember the number, but Reaper Tate 728. Anyway, yeah, um, I already cut the, uh, the primary things. I like this. I've never, I've never seen a sticker like this before. Fragile. Thor says, do not bend or puncture. Hey, Anthony, is, is that uh, something of your own creation? Or <laughs> where did you get the, that sticker, bud? Anyway, without further ado, I'm dying to see what's in here, of course. I had no idea this was coming. It just arrived in the mailbox yesterday. Again, I've cut it. And here we go. All right. I see a note, of course. Oh. Hi, John. A little something for my birthday. Apologies for missing it. Oh, man, don't worry about that. Goodness gracious, you know. I'm not real good with birthdays myself. Um, all right. Look at that stack of books in there. All right. Uh oh, Anthony, you're the man. Get in here. But, yeah, I just had a birthday here recently. Oh, I think I'm going to have to keep cutting a little bit. Bear with me, folks. I'm seeing... That's a front cover. I, maybe I should turn it over and so I don't get spoilage. Spoilage. Is that a word? I reckon it is. Spoilage. Okay, so I got the back. The back showing. I'm still going here, folks. We're getting there. Right. Okay. Bag. Get this open. Thanks for the careful and conscientious packaging, Anthony. Okay. Take the panties off here. Um, I, just, oh, I caught a glimpse of something there. Let me just... Uh, so I got them face down on, on my lap here. Got a card. Let me just look at the card first. Oh, yeah. With the right team behind you, anything is possible. <laughs> Including a birthday that's downright epic. Yeah. Happy belated birthday to a superhero, Anthony. Thank you, bud. Captain America. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, bud. Sincere thanks uh, for the birthday wishes. Uh, I, I do appreciate it, my man. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books here. And in Dr. Von Chilla fashion, you're going to see them before me. 
You ready? Here we go. What's the first one? I bet it's awesome, y'all. Ain't it? Hey. Yes. Oh. 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 <laughs> All right, man. House of Secrets 129. <laughs> Oh. oh my goodness. Look at that. What what do the, the cool kids say nowadays? That's right in my wheelhouse. Oh my goodness. Great. Just, but the funny thing is when I laid eyes on the cover I thought to myself I don't think I've ever seen this book before. And if I have, I've long since forgotten. But uh, this is uh, from the the golden age of my collecting uh, in the early to mid-70s. Thank you, bud. Wow, what, wow, what a beauty. The colors on that. Nice grade, too. Lovely, very finish looking thing. Beautiful. Okay, we're off to a roaring start. Next. What is it, y'all? Scream it out so I can hear it. What is it? Here we go. Oh, God. Uh, another House of Secrets. And I'm going to have to say it's kind of exactly, maybe I'm getting old and I'm just not remembering things anymore. But I swear, I, I do not ever remember seeing this book. I probably have, and it's just my... Uh, my failing faculty now, but goodness gracious, Anthony, uh, two for two here, bud. Thank you so much. Look at that. This is kind of in that uh, sweet spot of mine I always talk about. Find a very fine, yeah, whatever the number is. I, I don't know what the numbers are. Or the number seven point oh or so I, I I never have been able to kind of cotton on to all that. Wow. Okay, next. Here we go. What is it, y'all? What is it, y'all? Here we go. Oh, uh, okay. Uh Gladstone, right? Yeah, look at that. The Gladstone uh, EC reprints, they did several series of them over the, the decades, really. Um, first fearsome issue, Tales from the Crypt number one. I'm not, wow, I'm not entirely sure which book, which issue, this uh, cover reprints, but uh, I do not have this reprint. I've got a shit ton of these uh, Gladstone reprints around here, but I do not have this one, bud. So, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Um, that's one of the beauties of these EC reprints from Gladstone. There are so many of them you can just go out and grab and grab and grab and grab them and uh, you're likely to just come away with a bunch of books you, you didn't have. So, thank you, Anthony. The blazing colors on that. Wow. Yeah, great Johnny Craig werewolf cover there. What's this? 
What's this I'm seeing? Okay. Y'all are seeing the book before me, but there's a stamp on the back from my friend, our friend, Patrick. That is Luther Manning. Uh, so this passed through his collection on to Anthony. And now it's come my way, right? All right, here we go. Oh, snap! Oh! Oh, Frank Bruner Magnificence. Uh, again, in, in my, my golden age of collecting as a kid, uh, 25 Center Supernatural Thrillers number 11. Again, look at that in that sweet spot. Find a very fine. This is definitely more a very fine. Oh, definitely. Look at that smashing, that blazing Frank Bruner cover. Oh, my goodness. Thank, thank you, Anthony. And by extension, thank you, Patrick. That's a, that's a killer book. Wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness gracious. Thank you so much. Next. What is it, y'all? What is it, y'all? Come on. You're, you're seeing these before me. Holler it out. The True Believers reprint of Marvel 2 and 1, number 1. I bought this book off the rack. Uh, Marvel 2 and 1, number 1. Um, and it's kind of been haunting me ever since. I, I got rid of my copy way back in high school whether it was the late 70s or, or or the early 80s somewhere in high school I got I traded off my off the rack copy of Marvel 2 and 1 number 1 and it's the it's the uh, the Gil Kane the Gil Kane artwork inside that I have it's been haunting me and I've been dying to see it again for decades so thank you you very much, Anthony. Uh, yeah, a, a much a much desired uh, book, and I also love that. Uh, yeah, it's got the True Believers banner and all that, but it does maintain uh, the integrity of the original cover. So that's that's just a bonus for me. But I can't wait. To, to read this book again, to see to see the uh, incredible Gil Kane artwork again. Thank you, thank you very much, bud. Two more here. Oh shit! I saw the cover. Ah, uh, I know what it is, and I know you showed two two copies of this uh, in a recent. Uh, uh, haul video, bud. Was it your New York Comic Con? But yeah, uh, House of Secrets '99 with that uh, amazing uh, Mike Kaluta cover. Uh, I've never, I've never had a copy of this book. Wow. Yeah, uh, what what else? What 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 can I say? It's a an astonishing book. Um, oh my goodness gracious! I like the uh, the all new all new stories best in comics banner. That is one of my favorite things. It was uh, it it signaled signified signaled the launch of the 20 cent era because uh dc's uh first 
books, first 20 cent books, after those that six month period of 25 cent giants, they released them with this great, great banner. I love that banner. I, I just, I just love it. So, and I actually like how off cut this thing is you see that it's got a charm of its own right in it's uh uh what do you want to say <laughs> malformation or whatever right thank you anthony i'm lingering over this thing that is beautiful again i've never had a copy of it i've seen it a uh, you know, a hundred times before, but to have it in hand, what an absolutely gorgeous book, Anthony. Okay, one more. This feels like a giant. I can feel it in my hand. Feels like a double-sized something or other. What is it, y'all? What is it? Let me go here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I see this down here on the bottom. This is another one of the Gladstone uh, 90s reprints of uh, EC Horror. Um, Tales from the Crypt presents the Vault of Horror number four. But I've never seen this before. What is this? This is the original version of the cover of Weird Science 15. Reprinted on the following pages. Okay, well that's really freaking bizarre. What? What? How is this? Wait. This is the original version of the cover of Weird Science 15. Reprinted on the following pages. Okay. There's a couple of ways I can take that. The reprint of the original version of... Wait, no, it says the cover. I'm confused. Uh, this is the original version of the cover of Weird, Sci Weird Science 15. How can that be a Weird Science issue? I'm confused. A. <laughs> You're leaving me with a mystery here, Anthony. Okay, I... Uh, all right. <laughs> thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It's a lovely uh, birthday gift. Let's see if I can't get them spread out here. Decently. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Um, and I'm, I'm obsessing now over this Vault of Horror reprint. Yeah. As soon as I shut this camera off, I'm going to get into this and see what the heck is going on here. Anyway, thanks, thanks again. Uh, my dear friend, I, I do appreciate it. And uh, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.